showing you this video. Well, it's a viral video, that's for one, but uh, there's a lot of questions about this one. Beneath that mask, on a Korean TV show, why is the audience about to go nuts? It's Ryan Reynolds, the masked man <laughs> under the unicorn mask, surprising the audience of the regional TV show King of the Masks. What is that coming singer. to America? <laughs> Ryan Reynolds has been doing a lot of weird stuff promoting his new movie, it's Deadpool 2. Kind of a weird movie. It is a weird movie. Uh, we've both seen this. Yeah. There's music. It's not a musical. But you know what? Doesn't that lay the tracks for a musical joke in Deadpool 3? Uh, can't now they're going to see it. He can sing. There's yeah. a lot of self-referential -re self oh, humor. Yeah. There's a lot of breaking oh, the fourth wall. Just like the first one. Mm -hmm. Made $700 million, Deadpool, when it came out in 2016. The highest grossing R-rated film. Uh, the best X-Men movie, Ooh. as far as that goes. Oh, sure, as far as money goes, sure. <laughs> They're in the same world. Yeah. All right, so real quick. This time around, Deadpool has met a troubled orphan kid with mutant powers, and he feels the need to protect him mm -hmm. from a powerful, pumped-up bad guy from the future, played by Josh Brolin. I am letting Cable kill this kid. But I can't do this alone. We're going to form a super-duper group. That's what we're going to do. Our group will be forward-thinking, gender-neutral. We will be known as X-Force. Isn't that a little derivative? You're absolutely right. Now, cue the music. Don't call it a comeback. See, that kind of stuff where he says, cue the music. Yes, he's directing that, while starring in the movie. They, they, oh, they do those jokes about we know we're in a movie. What would you think? I really liked it. So this was directed by, guy, the, by the guy that did John Wick and Atomic oh, Blonde. Knows so action. So really good action sequences. It's that same sort of meta humor making fun of itself as it goes along. And it, the jokes are just a mile a minute. And definitely stick around for the credits. That's like a Those, I think, might be the best part of the movie. Definitely the most, best post-credit scenes I've ever seen. Yeah, and they actually drive the plot forward, mm -hmm. those closing credits. So I gave it three and a half out of four stars. I, I, I'd give it three. It's pretty good. I think I like the first one better, but yeah. if, if you like R-rated comic book movies... Don't take the kids. Do not. This will not disappoint, though. Yeah, we had fun. All right, we'll see you.